Okay, so this video is showing you how to rig a Bonito. This one's a Watson Sleeping Bonito or Bonnie or Bunny or Pretty Boy or whatever you want to call them, how they're locally known. Basically, it's a small tuna or a small Bonito of the tuna family. We're going to rig it on a tough terminal tackle Bonito rig. It consists of four 8.0 tarpon hooks by Eagle Claw, a decent weight of net lead on the second hook, two 40 pound swivels holding it together, wire trace with a larger loop on it. I'll show you why we use that larger loop soon, and another two 40 pound swivel to stop twisting so you can attach it to your snap in your main line. So for this rig, you're going to need your rig itself, obviously your bait, your bonito. You're going to need three lengths of soft copper wire or soft tie wire. A bait needle as such. A small knife. And a good pair of wire cutters as well. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll move this stuff out of the way. And we'll just give the fish a little bit of a, a work, a bend, rubberizing the fish, taking care not to split his skin. We give him a good wobble and that's the action that he should get while he's in the water. So what we'll do is we'll wire it up first. So I like to start through the base of the mouth to wire his mouth shut. So you run your bait needle through there, be careful not to put it through your finger in the other side. Grab one of your bits of copper wire and just bend it up there so it sits in the little eyelet. Hold his head, give it pressure to come back through. Now that we've got that through, I'm going to use the knife, put a tiny little cut in the front of his face. What that'll do now is when I twist this wire up, it'll sit it firmly in the front of his face and it won't slide off his head. So once you've done that, get your wire cutters and just cut those little bunny ears off. Some people tow their bonito from the mouth. I've done that. I prefer to tow it off the eye socket because it keeps your head down, keeps your bait swimming naturally like that. So the whole idea of wiring it is you wire the mouth shut so that the bait doesn't spin, it's got no drag, something to catch the water and make it spin around instead of swimming properly. So your next step is to wire the gills shut. So same deal, another piece of wire, just looping around. I usually go overkill on the length of wire just in case I make a mistake. It's always easier to cut some off than it is to try and add some to it. So same deal again. Go through, we don't need to make a cut this time. Twist them up. They don't need to be super tight, just enough so that they hold flat. Same again. Cut those little bunny ears off. And pull them down flat against the body of the fish. Move those out of the way. Okay, so as I said before, we're going to tow this one off the eye socket. So what I do is I go in the soft part of the top of the eye there. Just gently push through, grab your other bit of wire, do your little kinky bit in it. And this one we're not going to trim the bunny ears off because we're going to use this bit of wire to actually pull the fish so it doesn't pull the hook with the rig, they sit softly in the fish. So, 
Same deal though. Twist it up to the top of the head. Do a few twists. I tend to do about three or four. So they're nice and firm. Got your bunny ears there. I just lay them flat against the fish to start with. All right, so now that bonito is ready to have the hook placement set, with this one, what we want to do is we want this top hook to sit up level with the nose like that, and then we're going to pull this loop back and wire it to the top of the head there, and it's going to pull off that wire, not off the hooks, and the hooks will sit loosely in the body. So what we'll do is we'll line our hooks up, it comes sort of level with his fin down the back there, so I'll make a little mark on it so I know where to put the hook in. And we'll slide these hooks in. You can run a longer rig if you wish with an extra hook or depending on how big your baits are. This is a, a larger bonito, so normally I'd probably have another hook in there or have a stinger hook down the back. Also make those rigs as well, so if you require them, please don't hesitate to ask. We'll custom make just about anything you want. One that the weight goes in there. Line it up. Okay, so they're all fairly loose in there. Now this top hook, straighten that swivel out. You want to sit straight up through his nose there. Doesn't need to come all the way out, but I've got the barb sticking out. So now what we do is we pull that wire back. You can go through whichever way you want, just as long as it pulls up tight against the wire. Give it a couple of twists around. Okay, so now you can see that that wire there has a big loop and that hook is sitting freely in there. So when you connect it to your snap swivel or your main line, it's pulling and there's no pressure on that front hook at all. You can see it can move around freely and it's got a chance to move side to side. So what will happen now, now that I've done that, I can trim these little bunny ears off. And that's your beautiful swimming bonito bait. And it should literally swim like that when you put it in the water. Because you're towing it off the eye socket, it'll get the natural head motion down. It doesn't need two weights, I can get away with one most of the time to get it deep enough. And because you're only trolling it around two knots with a big bait like this, it gets a lovely big wobble happening to it and they get eaten very, very regularly.